right now on Deconstructed. To find out how everyday stuff works, we cut things in half and tear them apart, piece by piece. In this episode, electric guitars. Your fingertips help generate electric currents that buzz through the amps. Electricity never rocks so hard. Filtration systems. It's like the cleaning lady in your fish's apartment. But with four levels of filters, it's working four times as hard. Your computer's hard disk. It's an incredible shrinking machine that reduces your photos, music, and movies into nothing but numbers. And that's a lot of ones and zeros. Vacuum cleaners. To clean your floors, this machine actually creates a negative void inside. And that's where the suction begins. Deconstructed. We take things apart so you don't have to. A tank, water, and fish. Seems pretty straightforward. Wrong. A proper aquarium depends on a complex mix of elements essential to maintaining an ultra-delicate balance in the tank. Without this balance, clean water would become deadly swamp water. The aquarium is actually a complex life support machine for fish. Amazing. But how does it work? We all agree. Tropical fish look better in crystal clear water than in dirty, murky brown water. But when it comes to keeping the tank clean, it takes more than just a human touch. Without the help of a filtration system, a clean tank can quickly become a deadly swamp. For the fish's sake, a good filter is definitely a must. The filter's main components reside outside the tank, except for an electric pump that circulates the water. There are four stages of filtration in this system, and water must pass through every one. First, hollow ceramic cylinders that trap solid dirt particles and make the water flow evenly. Next, a layer of blue sponge that filters out finer particles. The water must then pass through porous quartz glass, which acts as a biological filter to get rid of a fish killer that's always lurking in aquariums, ammonia. Ammonia is produced by fish waste, decomposed plants, and leftover fish food. Too much waste produces the ammonia, which is very toxic to the fish. But ammonia is a source of food for some bacteria. And the good news is that the quartz glass balls are covered by a viscous film, chock full of these bacteria that feed on ammonia. These bacteria convert the ammonia into nitrates, substances far less harmful to fish. The final phase is this white filtration pad that allows only the smallest particles back into the flow. An activated carbon filter can occasionally be used at this stage to trap organic molecules. This carbon is very porous. Flattening the microscopic pores of only one gram would cover the surface of a basketball court. That means a lot of mini traps to rid the water of unpleasant odors and additives. Once the freshly cleaned water flows past the filter, it's pushed back into the aquarium by the filter pump. The pump pulls water in from the filter and pushes it back out into the tank at a rate of 185 gallons an hour, ideal for this 158 gallon aquarium. The pump's rotor, a magnet attached to blades moves the water around. The rotor fits into an electromagnet. When alternating current from your house socket flows through the electromagnet, its north and south poles also alternate, inverting themselves 120 times a second. Since opposite poles attract and similar poles repel each other, the rotor spins continuously, turning the blades that pull water through the filter. Once the fish's home is clean, next step is to make it comfy. Tropical fish are sensitive to temperature change. So to help keep the water at the temperature it would be in their natural habitat, a heating element is part of the filter system. The element contains a nickel chrome wire. 
the nickel chrome alloy resists the passage of electricity. And as the current struggles to go through the wire, it loses energy in the form of heat. Heat that heats up the metal tube, which in turn heats up the water. The heating element is controlled by a thermal sensor that keeps the temperature constant. But wait a minute. Heating elements and other electric devices mingling with water? Isn't that a deadly mix? It could be to the fish and their caretaker. That's why the components are insulated to keep water and electricity apart. The filter motor and sensor tubes are enveloped in a thick black epoxy. Fish also need fresh air. Opening the top of the tank is one way of getting oxygen. So are the bubbles created by the filter. All these devices make this artificial environment an authentic life support system. Coming up, meet the machine that takes your entire life and shrinks it down to next to nothing. We're removing the brains from your computer, next on Deconstructed.